welcome to the video so if you're interested in cyber security and ethical hacking then you should know about an operating system that is popular among ethical hackers and cyber security professionals it's called Kali Linux and the other operating system that is also popular is Parrot security operating system but in this video I'll show you how you can download and install Kali Linux operating system in your windows you don't have to uh, uninstall windows and download Kali Linux operating system separately but you can use this Kali operating system install and use it in your existing windows operating system here I'm using windows 10 and then I will go to the Kali Linux official website this is the Kali Linux official website it is an advanced penetration testing Linux distribution and it is uh, very popular among cyber security professionals and ethical hackers in this video I will give a lecture on how you can uh, download Kali Linux inside your Windows operating system so I'll just go to downloads you need to go to downloads Kali Linux then you can scroll down this uh, operating system is updated regularly at present it is 2020.4 20 version I will discuss how you can download the virtual box installation for that Kali Linux according to your operating system my Windows 10 operating system is 64 bit so I will go to Kali Linux 64 bit virtual box available on offensive security VM download page I'll just click here it will redirect me into this offensive security website I'll scroll scroll down here it is written Kali Linux virtual box image I'll just click here and it will expand like this so you have two options if your operating system is 32 bit and if it is 64 bit you will download the 64 bit you can download directly or you can use torrent so if you want to check uh, your operating system bit 32 bit or 64 bit then you have to go to this PC my computer where it's uh, where you can see lean, uh, your C drive D drive etc there you have to right click and click on properties it will be mentioned here in the system type so my operating system is 64 bit I have downloaded the 64 bit if you have 32 bit then you will download the 32 bit this is the official website for torrent you also need another software called 7g this is 7g and you need uh, virtual box it creates a virtual environment inside your windows operating system so that you can install kali linux operating system with the help of virtual box so we need virtual box also you just follow the steps you need to download these files first and then install it and then i'll tell you the next steps we need now we are downloading virtual box this is the oracle vm virtual box official website just have to open in a new tab so i have opened utorrent so i'll just go ahead and download <coughs> uh, utorrent uh, this is classic download the utorrent classic one not the web web version so here you have to go to basic scroll down where it says basic you download the basic then it will start downloading you just have to save it then it will save similarly you have to download the 7 zip uh, where it says 2019 according to your operating system my operating system is 64 bit so I will download the 64 bit exe file and then save it after that I will, I will also download I will also download Oracle virtual box by going to virtual box website going to download section and then I'll go to Windows host 
and then I'll save it and then I will also install where it says uh, VirtualBox extension pack so you need uh, VirtualBox extension pack uh, if you want to run uh, USB 2.0 or you want to add a Wi-Fi adapter or something like that so I'll just click on all supported platform and then I'll just save this file as well so I have downloaded the VirtualBox and the extension pack I have downloaded VirtualBox for Windows similarly we can install for Mac operating system or Linux so we'll just go to our downloads folder where we have stored our VirtualBox exe file and then Oracle VirtualBox extension pack and 7G 64 bits exe file and then uTorrent and our Kali Linux OVA torrent we need uTorrent uh, to download the Kali Linux VirtualBox OVA we'll also install 7-zip just double click allow then install installation is complete for 7-zip setup we'll close this we will install Oracle VirtualBox so that after installing Kali Linux virtual image file we can run our Kali Linux inside Windows 10 using Oracle VirtualBox in a virtual environment to install VirtualBox we'll just double click I have already installed so I it's asking me for either you want to remove it or repair so the installation is very simple you just have to click next 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 so I have already installed so I'm not going to install it again then it will say that your installation is uh, successfully complete and then you can finish click on finish button similarly you can also double click in the extension pack before running VirtualBox and it will ask you to update or install in my case I have already installed so it is asking me if you want to reinstall so I'll click on reinstall then I have to agree the agreement I agree by scrolling down and then it will ask for permission I'll click yes and then it will install the extension pack so it is done now we have Oracle VirtualBox ready after installing our torrent file which is this one we can double click as uTorrent is not installed it's asking me how do you want to open this file after we install uTorrent it will directly add in the downloads part and Kali Linux will start downloading so if you uh, don't want to install with the help of uh, torrent then you can just visit Kali Linux for VirtualBox go to Kali Linux VirtualBox image here you can select your bit 64 bit directly and it will start it will pop up and what do you want to do with this OVA file it's around 3.5 gigabyte so I can click on save so there is two option one is by installing uTorrent and double clicking this torrent file or you can directly download it so what we can now what we will do is as we have already installed our 7-zip we will right click here so you have what you have to do is go to extract files and select a file like I have named this as extracted so I'll go to the file where it says extracted go there and click OK and then start extracting it will show you some error error 1 but you can ignore it and it will take some time uh, now it says that time remaining is uh, one around one minute so here you can see that the extraction is almost co complete so I can close it even if there is error it doesn't matter I can close it now I'll go to the extracted file here ignore this file this I have already copied but the main file that, that we are looking after is this one with the blue color icon this is the Kali Linux with the extension VMDX so we want this file 
now we can directly add a new operating system giving the location of that do I can file vmdx or else we can import this Kali Linux but it will take some time I will show you both the options so if you want to import first what you will do click on import then you will go to local system choose the file where it is located in my case it is in Kali Linux dot OVA here you can see that this is my OVA file I can just highlight it and then open after opening I'll click on enter one enter and then it's saying like CPU 2 you can change it to 1 because I don't have much CPU power so if you have more CPU power you can use 2 but better you choose it 1 everything is okay I'll just click on enter again it's asking me to agree this I'll click on agree then it will start importing and after it is done then you can start the virtual machine this is uh, the import option by which you can install Kali Linux by importing it and the other option is by right clicking and extracting with 7 zip and then after that visit the blue icon file with the extension .vmdx and then you can create a new new virtual machine and then you can open so it will take some time you can do it if you have any doubts or if you can't do it you can let me know in the comments and I will be there to help you out so I'll just close this and show you the other easy option okay, I'll just close this and the other option will be the first option I'll show is, is uh, by importing and the other option will be I'll click on new I'll type Kali Linux 2020 Linux and we'll choose Debian 64 because Kali is a Debian distribution Linux distribution and we'll click on next by default it is 1 gigabyte RAM we'll choose minimum 2 gigabyte 2 GB RAM next here will use use an existing virtual hard disk image and we will choose that blue icon file that we have extracted earlier that is in the extracted yeah this one the extension vmdx and we'll open it and then choose after it is highlighted here we'll click on choose and then create can see that it is created and if you don't have uh, virtualization enabled it might show you some errors uh, you can contact me and, uh, then how to enable virtualization you can do it by going to processors and here enable nested virtualization if it doesn't work then you have to go restart your machine and go to BIOS setting by clicking on F2 or F10 or pressing delete it depends upon different, different computers in Windows 10 after you uh, go enter in your BIOS setting then you can enable the virtualization and then you won't find any errors in my case I don't have any errors I can start so after clicking start it will start the Kali Linux virtual machine inside your Windows 10 machine this is starting so I'm using Windows 10 and I can use Kali Linux for ethical hacking for learning ethical hacking skills and learning cyber security skills with the help of Kali Linux operating system so it will take some time and it will boot and 
eventually you can start using this operating system using Oracle virtual machine inside your Windows 10 operating system so let me know in the comments which option you like like you want to import the OVA file or you can right click and extract the virtual OVA file into .vmdx and then you can start and in my next video I will show you how you can uh, play around with Kali Linux uh, with the help of basic Linux commands and I'll let you know how you can be comfortable using Kali Linux in the upcoming videos. This was a video demonstration on how you can install Kali Linux operating system inside your Windows 10 operating system using Oracle VirtualBox.